Okay, guys. So for a quick revision, uh, I want to talk about these past model verbs one more time. Hopefully, this will be helping uh, better to you in terms of understanding the topic well. So, guys, uh, we are talking about must have, can't have, and let's say three branches: might have, may have, could have, plus past participle. So this. Uh, first exercise of the workbook on page 70 in isopen 4 book uh, is giving us details about what to use when. Okay. Let's focus on this part, please. Regarding the first part, we talked about possible explanations in the past. Possible explanations should be underlined. Okay. Possible explanations in the past. We use a model verb plus infinitive or have plus past participle. Of course, using a model verb, infinitive can't be followed. Okay? Right after a model verb, infinitive can't be followed. That's why the answer should be have plus past participle. Okay? And the second item, we use must or can't or might, may, and could plus have plus past participle to say an explanation an explanation is the only possibility there is no other possibility but there is just one possibility that it happened in the past so we are still talking about past modern verbs keep this in mind and of course the answer is must plus have plus past participle to say an explanation is the only possibility there is no other way so we are we are deducting we are concluding about the event that happened in the past and it is the only possibility okay keep this in mind and the third one we use must or can't or might may and could plus have plus past participle to say an explanation is possible. So, because we are talking about an explanation is possible, so in this case we are talking about might, may, and could, plus have, plus past participle. So, this is very important in terms of an explanation is possible. So, I'm underlining this part. An explanation is possible. While we are talking about this, might have, may have, or could have to be used. And the last one, we use must or can't or might, may, and could. To say an explanation is impossible. We are so sure that it's impossible that happened in the past. We are so sure that it didn't happen. So, in this way, the answer is can't have plus past part. Okay, please keep these four points in mind while you are talking about past model verbs. Okay, this is the core point of the topic that we have started studying. Okay, so a few uh, exercises related to these. Can't have, must have, may, might, could have, plus past participle. Topic. This is about past model verbs. And I'm going through the sentences. Please pay attention. I'm sure, so I'm sure part is very important here. I'm sure you dropped your wallet at the bus stop. Okay? I'm sure. This should be underlined. I'm sure you dropped your wallet at the bus stop because I'm sure that it happened in the past. You must use must have plus past participle. Past participle is dropped. So the sentence will sound like you must have dropped your wallet at the bus stop. Okay. And the second one, maybe Joanna missed the last bus. Maybe Joanna missed the last bus. 
and my clue to use while thinking about while making the sentence is maybe. So maybe stands for me to conclude that there's a possibility here. Okay, there's a possibility. And the answer is Joanna may have, might have, or could have missed the last bus. Okay. So how did I conclude that it must be used may or could or might plus have plus past participle because there is may, maybe in the sentence. Okay. And uh, this third one and sixth one actually are for ad advice, which is out of topic now. So I'm skipping them. Okay. I'm not focusing them. But simply the answers for them are should have plus verb three and the sixth one is should shouldn't have plus verb three. Okay. And the fourth one, I'm sure Diana didn't take her bus. Again, there's a case of being sure, isn't it? There's a case of I'm sure. There's a case of being sure. But this time, there's a case of being sure about something didn't happen. Okay. In this case, what should I use? What I need to use is Diana can't have taken her bus. Why? Because here, again, there's a case of certainty. I see because at the beginning, I'm sure. Then I need to continue that this is impossible to happen because I'm sure. Okay. So in this way, you need to focus on that Diana can't have taken your books. And the fifth one, which I'll be talking about as a last item. The last item is starting with perhaps. Perhaps David didn't notice you. Perhaps David didn't notice you. Because there's perhaps, again, a case of uncertainty. A case of uncertainty here. So I can make the sentence this way. David may not have seen you. Sorry, David may not have noticed you. David could not have noticed you. David may not have, might not have noticed you. Why? Because there is again perhaps, which looks like maybe, but while here maybe is followed by a positive sentence, okay, we continue to our sentence with a positive in a positive way, but here after perhaps it continued in a negative way negative way that's why i continued in a negative sentence david may not have noticed you david might not have noticed you david could not have noticed you are the answers of the exercise so guys that's all for the time being hopefully uh, it's uh, for sure understood. If it is not, please pass your ask your answers uh, in the comments part below. Okay, see you.